This is Lesson 4-6, Fractions and Percents. In a recent survey, students were asked to choose their favorite sport to play. The results are shown in a table. For each sport, shade a 10 by 10 grid that represents the number of students that chose that sport. Here I have several 10 by 10 grids. My first one is for basketball. What I've done here is I've shaded groups of 20. Here's 10 and 20, 10 and 20, 10 and 20, 10 and 20, 10 and 20. And then in my second example, what I've done is I've combined the two. I've combined all the red shaded ones. And what I've found is that 3 out of 20 is equivalent to 15 out of 100. In my second example, football, 3 out of 25. <coughs> Well, here's 10, 20, 5, 10, 20, 5, 10, 20, 5, and finally, 10, 25. And I've shaded in the 3 and 25. And what I have found is that 3 and 25, when I move down further and look at my second grid, is equivalent to 12 out of 100. <coughs> and my third example. Back to my table 1 and 20. So I've again shaded groups of 20. Here's 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, and then my yellow represents 1 in 20. So what I've discovered here is when I combine all my shaded ones from this grid is that 1 in 20 is equivalent to 5 in 100. And my final example, 9 out of 100, I simply need to shade 9 out of 100. Gives me this resulting fraction. <coughs> Write each ratio as a percent. Annie scored or answered 90 out of 100 questions correctly. 90 out of 100 is 90%, because percent means per 100. On the average, 50.5 out of 100 students own a pet. So again, 50.5 over 100 equals 50.5%, because percent means out of 100. In example A, 45 out of 100, we would write as the ratio of 45 to 100, and then rewrite that simply as 45%. In example B, 3.30 out of 100, again, would represent 3.3%. would drop this trailing zero in most cases. <coughs> Fractions and percents are ratios that represent the same number. You can write a fraction as a percent by finding an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. You can see an example... 3 that I've written 3 twentieths, or I've shaded 3 twentieths in this example right here. Then to write an equivalent fraction, I simply multiply numerator and denominator by 5, gives me the resulting grid that you see here, 15 out of 100. Notice that the blue shaded area doesn't change. <coughs> but now I have 100 pieces instead of 20. Therefore, 3 twentieths equals 15 hundredths, or 15%. In example C, 17 over 20, 
I would simply multiply by 5 and multiply by 5. I would get 85 out of 100, which is 85%. And example D, 3 fifths times 20 and times 20 gives me 60 over 100, which then is 60%. And example E, 2 out of 25, multiply numerator and denominator by 4, gives me 8 over 100, which is 8%. <coughs> In 0 0.5 ounce of Kobe cheese, 36 of the 50 calories are from fat. What percent of the calories are from fat? Well, 36 over 50 is 70 over 100. Writing an equivalent fraction, you can see I multiply a numerator denominator by 2. Gives me the resulting fraction of 72 over 100. Percent means out of 100, so my answer there is 72%. <coughs> An example F. A small piece of mozzarella cheese. In a small piece of mozzarella cheese, 75, 17 of the 25 calories come from fat. I would write to get that again as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Showing the multiplication by 4 gives me 68 over 100, or 68%. <coughs> write 48% as a fraction in simplest form. Percent as a fraction. Again, percent means out of 100. So 48% means 48 out of 100. This fraction simplifies to 12 over 25 because 48 and 100 have 4 as the greatest common factor. Example G would be 40 over 100. I could divide both of those by 10, which would give me 4 tenths. Again, divide both of those by 2. The resulting fraction then is 2 fifths. 6%, 6 out of 100. Um, I can divide both of those by 2. Gives me 3 over 50. 3 and 50 have no common factors other than 1, so my answer is 3 over 50. Example I, 24 out of 100. 24% 24 is 24 out of 100. Divide both by 2, numerator and denominator. Gives me... <coughs> 12 over 50. I can see that I can again divide by 2. Gives me 6 over 25, which is my answer in simplest form. Because 6 and 25 have no common factors other than 1. Write each ratio as a percent. 57 um, over 100. Insects are spiders. Notice that they've written this ratio with a colon, which is the same as this. I could also write 57 to 100. Any one of those is correct. Because we already have a denominator of 100, this becomes 57%. Uh, example number 2, 29, 20 out of 100 becomes 29.2. Percent. Notice that I dropped a trailing zero. <coughs> and example three, writing a fraction as a percent. Percent means per hundred. So I multiply by 25. Gives me 25 over 100, which is 25 percent. Example four, six tenths. Multiply by 10. Multiply by 10 to give me a denominator of 100. Gives me 60 over 100, which is 60%. <coughs> and finally, in this example, 17 over 20. Write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. Gives me 85 over 100, which is 85%.
In example 6, Tansy used two-fifths of the memory available on her flash drive. What percent of the memory did she use? Number 6, two-fifths. Write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. That means multiplying by 20. 40 over 100 is my result, which is 40%. <coughs> Number seven, write each percent as a fraction in simplest form. 90 over 100. Divide both number and our denominator by 10 gives me 9 over 10, which cannot be simplified any further. 75 over 100. Um, I see 25 as a common factor here. Very easy to see because we're used to working with money. Gives me 3 over 4 as a fraction in simplest form. And number 12. 9.22%. I clearly see 2 as a common factor. Gives me 11 over 50. 11 is a prime, so it has no common factors with 50 other than 1. So 11 50ths is my answer in simplest form. The vocabulary in this lesson is ratio, a comparison of two numbers by division, and equivalent ratios, two ratios that have the same value. At this point, you have completed the video. You should stop and go back to my Moodle page and take lesson quiz 4-6. Remember, your username is your student number, six-digit student number. Your password is the first six digits of your last name. and your